I mean, sad to say, you tell me if you disagree. Uh, to me, the mainline media has been bought up by large corporations, and through that, it's also being highly censored. Uh, that's my impression of the mainline media today. Of course, to everything, there are also exceptions. That's exactly, I believe you're absolutely true. And I'll, to give you some examples, if I may, very, when I was down in Philadelphia at my um, petition hearing, I was being brought back to the prison and the sheriffs had turned the radio on. I was listening to the news. And the newscaster said, this just in, there's a bulletin, um, ABC, American Broadcasting Corporation, has just been acquired by Disney Corporation. And I laughed. And I was in the back and I was just laughing. I said, well, I guess we're going to have Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck on the news tonight, right? But that's just one out of many, you know. We used to talk about almost the same way I said earlier about politicians. We used to talk about the media being in the hip pocket of big business and being controlled by big business. Well, today, the major media are big business. They are part of these multinational huge corporations. And if you think they don't control what comes into that camera lens and out on that TV screen, well, come on. If I own you, I control you. If I pay you, I tell you what to say and what not to say. And when you look at the news today, I'm talking now about a national network newscast. The similarities between, think about this, Christoph, the similarities between a national network newscast and what used to be a local newscast are astounding. Local crime stories become national news stories, not because of anything extraordinary about that, but that's the stuff that they're feeding out there. They don't feed pieces that talk about the fundamental relationships of power and rank and status in this country. They talk about sensation, you know. It's almost as if the average newscast is produced by hard copy or one of these other, you know, shows like that. Just, it's trash. But it's trash that's this, this designed to attract you emotionally, to touch you sensationally to get you looking, but not to get you thinking. Not to question the fundamental relationships of power, of wealth, of justice, of injustice. Those issues, they don't apply, you see. They do not question the relationship and the rightness of power. They take that for granted, you see. And when you ally that and you put that in concert with the political machinery that's in place today. I'm talking about the right wing um, shift in American politics. Well, you have a dangerous and a deadly and a malevolent concoction. That's what you have. That's what you have. You know, you have a guy who can run for president and be best friends with, you know, a Klansman and, you know, have Klansmen and uh, uh, Aryan nation brethren on his staff. Oh, well, that's not important. Uh, I don't know. We're not, you know. And they can brush it off, and he goes on, and he goes on. Just like in the um, 30s and 40s in Germany, when you know, obviously, intimately, much better than I, when you talk about the Nazi experience, when you talk about the Hitler phenomena in Germany, you could not have that kind of political explosion of Nazi um, organization without the undercover but significant support of people of means, of finances, the Krupps and so forth, the Fords here in America. They were supported by people of wealth. They just didn't spring out of the, you know, one day they were here and one day they weren't. They were supported by financial interests because, in the last analysis, they protected their interests. You know, when you read books that talk about um, how this government 
through its CIA and its FBI, supported and paid and protected mafia hitmen and stuff like that so that they could knock off and destroy socialists and communists. That's not just by coincidence, because they knew that would protect the interests of the wealthy. Fundamentally, what we're talking about is how um, the U.S. government has allied itself with some of the darkest forces in history for economic gain, for economic interest, to protect the status quo, um, and continue to do so, you know, continue to do so. None of this stuff that's happening in America is in a vacuum. When you have um, David Dukes running for governor, or Buchanan running for president, and uh, Klansmen on his staff, and you know everybody talking about, um, well, it's okay to forget the poor. Uh, what we need is more executions. Uh, poor people are have it too good in this country. What we need to do is start uh, 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 chopping people's heads off. I mean, the kind of, the level, the political level of discourse is anti-life. It's death-centered. And that's not by 